So Aberdeen in their alternative strip, kicking off, playing from left to right in a match which should serve as a good judge of their true championship potential. They've had two consecutive bad results at Love Street last Saturday, of course, against St Mirren, an unhappy return home for Alex Ferguson to his former club. And, of course, in Germany in midweek when they went down heavily to Fortuna Dusseldorf in the Cup Winners' Cup. So they have to prove they can come back quickly. This is Hearts on the break. Willie Gibson. Chick McClellan covering up. Referee this Hearts. Aberdeen currently fourth in the table. Hearts struggling a little. Good result last Saturday, but currently second bottom. In it goes. Head up from Robertson. Busby. And it's gone! A dream debut for Derek O'Connor. The ball came across from Malcolm Robertson. A terrible scramble in the Aberdeen goal mouth. Derek O'Connor just signed from St Johnston on Monday of last week. And he's exactly one minute a hearts player. And he puts him into the lead. What a shock start here at Bataudry. Exactly 55 seconds gone. And that was literally O'Connor's first touch of the ball. Well, the big bustling striker, a part-timer from Perth, could hardly have written the script better himself. And what a boost, a confidence booster for the Hearts lads. Good goalless draw against Rangers at Ibrox last weekend. They need the points badly. Aberdeen hit back quickly. A plea shadow. Bannon, challenged by Archibald and Jarvie, breaking forward. Jarvie wins. Sullivan calls for it, looks for Harper. And conditions, as we've seen several times in this first half, rather treacherous underfoot. And the players having difficulty in particular turning quickly. Jeffries forward, linesman's flag up. Offside on that occasion against O'Connor. So Miller with the free kick. Aberdeen still searching for this elusive equaliser. Interesting to note, on the first day of the season, they went to Tyne Castle and beat Hearts by four goals to one. Now, fair shade of odds against that happening this afternoon at this moment anyway. Robertson, challenged by Sullivan. Looking for a corner, brought down by O'Connor. Derek O'Connor, having used his hands there, so another free kick, and once again it's Miller. Archibald, header, looking for Harper. Oh. An amazing scramble in the Hearts goal mouth. Aberdeen players appealing that that ball came in. Lovely touch from Archibald, went to Harper, desperately tried to control it. Now, according to the Aberdeen players, Dunlop interfered with Harper, brought him down, but the referee rules away their appeals. Just about the closest Aberdeen have come yet to snatching this equaliser. Now, once again, it's Harper. McMaster. Bannon. Gibson cutting inside, taken on by O'Connor. Interception by Miller. Despite the appeals, that will eventually be a corner. A corner on the right. This is Robertson. Gibson onto the bar. The corner coming across from Robertson. Frank Little was up, powerful header to Gibson and onto the bar. McMaster, 
Kennedy, now he has room to move. Right foot center looking for Archibald again. We come out to Scanlon. Challenged by Bannon. And he concedes the corner. So Ian Scanlon, the call to the first team, his corner. Oh! While Drew Jarvey was only inches away there from that elusive equaliser from Aberdeen. Corner from Scanlon, went to Jarvey, challenged by Dunlop, and it was Dunlop's vital touch that just edged it away for a corner. Gibson, challenged by McLeish. The long legs of McLeish just managed to intercept. Gibson. Clish once again, Miller. Now he looks up. The Aberdeen fouling are frustrated, but he looks up. There's no space whatsoever. Indicative of this match. Hearts players marking tightly and marking well. Robertson trying desperately to keep that in play. He only succeeds in teeing it up for Dom Sullivan. Right foot cross. Looking for Harper. Brown on his back. Yes, penalty kick. Penalty kick to Aberdeen. It all started when Malcolm Robertson tried to keep that ball in play. He only succeeded in teeing it up for Dominic Sullivan, who sped forward on the right wing. Right foot cross. Joe Harper went up for it with Jimmy Brown and fouled Harper. Brown fouled Harper, according to the referee. Penalty kick to Aberdeen. Joe Harper, Scotland's leading goal scorer. One inch! Dickel coming forward. Busby. O'Connor with room to move. Speeding in on goal. Shot for Bannon. Fractionally over the bar. O'Connor breaking away. Well, my goodness. Dominic Sullivan apologizing to his teammates as they probably feel he rightly should. An attempted pass back and uh, corner conceded two hearts on the left. Dennis McQuaid, just on as a substitute, will take it. McQuaid right footed, looking for Gibson. And let him came. <laughs> he possibly was a little unsighted by his teammates there. The ball came very quickly at him, but he just managed to hold on to it. Quaid, on the other hand, just fails to keep that in play. Throw in Aberdeen. And this is Sullivan. Now, Fraser coming forward. Quaid. Shot! What a goal! A typical Dennis McQuaid goal! Thirty-three minutes gone. He did that so often, you know, for Partick Thistle. Came on out of the blue, long-distance shot into the back of the net, and he's just on a couple of minutes at Petardry this afternoon, and it's that man McQuaid again.